money to rich people, so that, that might not be good. Um, the, the major benefit of redistribution, sorry, of R&D subsidies, I think, is it allows us to separate the overall level of money we want to give from the question of how do we target that. So we don't even need to give an R&D subsidy. We could also tax the corporate profits if we want to take money from the company, or we can give them a subsidy. So that lets us adjust how much money we want to give them, somewhat independently of the way that we try to target the money towards them. And your problem set is going to have you sort of explore this and the trade-off between patents and prizes. Prizes have the benefit that they're ex post efficient, but it may be difficult to figure out which innovation should receive how big of a prize. Uh, whereas IP gives a way for the market to sort of determine that. In the length versus breadth trade-off, um, uh, the benefit of having a very long patent uh, that's very narrow is you may be able to have them charge a price that's very close to cost and therefore have a small dead weight loss for the amount of profits, but have them do that for a long period of time. Uh, but, um, but there's a trade-off because you know, some patents um, may <coughs> gain more from uh, having a broader purview relative to others and those might potentially be more beneficial patents, and so it all depends on sort of how the um, people that you're rewarding are aligned with the tool that you're using to reward. Um, and uh, when you think about sequential innovations, pooling together the complementary patents can reduce the dead weight loss because once they're put together, you don't have to negotiate with so many different people and people won't have an incentive to charge such high prices for licensing each patent because they want the other uh, patents in their pool to get licensed. Um, and so that's, that's one benefit that pooling brings, but it's also really crucial to figure out a way to target the profits towards whichever innovation, the first one or the second one, had a higher elasticity because that's the one that you're going to increase the chance of it being created most by giving it more profit. Um, and how to interpret the criteria like you need, uh, non-obviousness, um, etc., are are still very much open questions uh, in the intellectual property area, and I think would be great great topics for future research. Um, so, anyways, I'll let you guys go a few minutes early. If you want to ask me any questions about the midterm and so forth, just come up here. Um,